Okay, so today we're going to introduce tips and tricks. And let's start with some basic rules. For addition and subtraction, if we add two positive numbers, we know the result is going to be a positive a number. Bigger positive, that's right. Positive number. If we add two negative numbers, what's the result going to be? Positive. If we multiply, this is where people get confused. Negative. If we multiply, it's going to be positive. But the if this we... This is negative. The this, that's right. This time it's negative. Because if we have a number line, Zero, and we add two negative numbers, one, add one negative number, add two negative numbers. Then it goes still negative. It's going to keep going negative, that's right. Okay. And there's some tricks with subtraction, we'll get into that in just a sec. Let's do multiplication and division really quick. times or divided by a positive, it what's the result going to be? Number. It's going to be positive, that's right. If we have a negative times or divide by a negative, what it's is going that? To be a positive. It's going to be a positive, that's right. And if we have a positive combined with a negative, it's going to be a negative. It's going to be a negative. So the easiest way to remember that for multiplication and division is if the signs are the same, positive, positive, negative, negative. If the signs are the same, it's going to be positive. Yeah. If the signs are different, it's going to be negative. Yeah. Okay? Now, sometimes it gets a little tricky. Those are our basic rules. But, what does that equal to? Um, a positive. A positive, positive what? 10. It is a positive 100. Positive 100, that's right. Very good. Sometimes it looks like a negative times a negative is going to be a negative, but remember, if the signs are the same, with negative in division, if the signs are the same, it's going to be positive, no matter what. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's talk about subtraction. Sometimes subtraction gets ugly. Like we could have negative 7 plus negative 13. Uh, that would just be a bigger negative number. It would be a bigger negative number. What is that bigger negative number in this case? It would... If 7... If, it, if these two numbers were positive, it would have been 20. 20, that's right. It's going to be a negative 20. That's right, very good. And that's a good way to think about it. That's a good tip. Sometimes, if we're adding two numbers that are the same, or subtract... Well, not quite subtracting, we'll change it to adding. If we're adding two numbers that are the same, you can just add their absolute value, also known as just two positive numbers. Two positive numbers, 7 and 13 equals 20, like you did. And then you look at negative signs, say negative plus a negative is a bigger negative, negative 20. Yeah. Okay? Good. Now, let's talk about subtraction. This is where it gets ugly. Negative 9 minus 10. Um, this, um, if it was, um, a positive 9, it would have been 19. It would have been. It's now, not. it's 1. Hmm. You know what we're going to do? We're going to use a really, really helpful trick. If you ever have a minus something, you can use this for positive numbers too, in fact. If you ever have a minus something, you know what you can change it to? 
plus minus. Did you see how I did that? Yes. Yeah. So I had negative 9 minus 10, and I changed it to negative 9 plus negative 10. Now that's, now that's just going to end up being negative 19. Excellent way to go. Isn't that easier to look at? Negative 9 plus negative 10. Let's look at this one. Um, a negative 22. We got plus minus that. Very good. So we're going to plus minus it. If it was, if these two numbers were both positives, it would have been um, four, 45. 45, very but good. But it's a negative 45. Negative 45, excellent. Okay, let's do one more and call it a day. Now, 11 minus 12. Aren't one number supposed to be negative though? So I guess not. You have to change oh my God. the one, add another one on top. Add another one where? On top of the one there. This one? Yes. Where do I add a one? Or are we supposed to plus minus? We are supposed to plus minus. Let's take a look at that one. Now, because these two are positive numbers, um, are they both positive numbers? They are both negative. Now. They positive and a negative. That's so right. I, uh, if the both numbers were positive, it would have been twenty-three. Right. It's going to be a negative twenty-three. Unfortunately, we can't combine them because they're different signs. If we're adding with the same sign, we can combine them. We can combine the absolute value, like they were both positive, but we can't do it in this case. You know what we have to use in this case? Yeah. The number line. So let's go negative 12, and this is 0 all the way over here. So we have negative 12, that's where our starting point is. And where do we move? How many steps do we move? Eleven. We move eleven steps. Do we move eleven steps in the positive direction? Or do we move eleven steps in the negative direction? In the negative. We move eleven steps this way? In the positive. In the positive. Do you know why it's a positive? How come? Because this is a positive number. If there were a negative sign here, we'd have to move in the negative direction. But there's no negative sign there. This is a positive eleven. Yes, so we're moving in the positive direction. That's right. So now we're moving to negative 11. No, we move 11 steps in the positive direction. So it looks like this. Negative 12, negative 11, negative, negative 10, 12. negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. And if you count all those steps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's all now the way negative, negative one. 1. That looks like negative 10. That's because it's 0 is So we went all the way to negative 1. That one's tough, eh? This is what, the, this is what it started out as. 11 minus 12. And those ones are tricky. Let's do one more like that. Okay, one more. And we'll call it a day. Then we'll call it a day. Let's do... Twenty minus forty-two. What should our first step be? To plus minus. Plus minus, beautiful. What's our next step? If those two were both positive numbers, it would have been um, 62. Right. But it's going to be negative. Now hang on. Can we combine them? Are these we two signs? We can't combine them. We can't combine them. So what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to minus those two numbers. That's right. Um, so now the 4, the four becomes a 2. Mm -hmm. It's 22. 
22, very good. Now, is it positive or negative, negative 22? Negative 22. Do you know why it's negative 22? Okay. Because of the minus sign. Because the of the minus sign on the 42. The minus sign is with the bigger number. 42 is bigger than 20. The final result always takes the sign of the bigger number when you're doing addition or subtraction. But remember, subtraction just turns into addition. Yeah. Yeah. So what you did there is we actually moved along the number line, but you did it a lot quicker because you just used subtraction, which is the same thing as moving along the number line. Yeah. Okay? Yep. Yeah. Excellent.